Dear viewers, in today's presentation, we shall embark on an exploration of the principles and construction of a bus multiplexer utilizing fundamental logic gates. A bus multiplexer is a device that combines digital information from multiple channels into a single channel. In this discussion, we'll focus on a 4-bit two-way bus multiplexer. Each input can be seen as a channel, and these channels carry 4-bit wide buses with digital information transmitted in parallel. Depending on the value of digital logic at the select lines the input 1 or the input 2 gets selected at the output. Here we can see the block diagram along with the truth table as shown in the figure. There is a select line S along with an enable input which is active low type. One of the inputs are denoted by I1A, I1B, I1C, I1D and another set of input is I0A, I0B, I0C, I0D and the outputs be denoted by ZA, ZB, ZC and ZD. In the scenario where the enable line is connected to the high logic the multiplexer is disabled and the all the outputs are low. The bus multiplexer is activated by pulling down the enable input. Now, if the select line connected to low logic the inputs, I0A, I0B, I0C, I0D are selected at the output. And now, if the select line connected to high logic the inputs, I1A, I1B, I1C, I1D are selected. Consider a situation where input 1 carries parallel digital information, 0, 0, 1, 0. Regardless of the logic input at input 2, if the select line is set to a low logic state, the data from input 1 will be directed to the output. Consider a situation where input 2 carries parallel digital information, 1, 0, 1, 0. Regardless of the logic input at input 1, if the select line is set to a high logic state, the data from input 2 will be directed to the output. Within the internal logic diagram of the bus multiplexer, we observe the select line having a dual logic path, allowing it to choose between input I1A and I0A, also extended to the other inputs as well. The entire logic circuit has been illustrated in the figure. The enable line is shared among all three input and gates and can be used to deactivate them simultaneously if a logic 1 is applied to the enable input E. We extend our heartfelt gratitude for tuning in to this lecture. To explore more captivating technical and educational content, please stay connected with our channel. Don't forget to share and subscribe to iNet Tech Talk, as your support truly means the world to us.